Hello and welcome to the next part of Anniversary no Kuni ni Alice. Last time we got uh, quite a few new boss events and also a few side events. And this one is again a scripted one if I'm not mistaken. We're flying! Finally, something dreamlike happened. I was flying in the sky. Since it's a dream within a dream, there's absolutely no sense of realism. We're going at a pretty decent speed, yet I wasn't scared. <coughs> Maybe you should be. Speaking of things with no sense of realism, Nightmare is managing to fly alongside me despite his bad condition. Hey, I'm sorry if I asked something unreasonable of you. You know I don't mind if we land soon, right? Looking at Nightmare floating in the sky, I lost the desire to fly in the sky as well. <laughs> you sure? I am, but... I can't help but wonder when we're going to fall. True, that's a bit of a disappointment. But more importantly, I'm still wondering when we're going to fall. Nightmare, do you love do you live here all the time? Oh. I wonder if there's some sort of reason. All by yourself? So is that so? Are you trapped here? Hmm? Yeah. It's the more the only sort of get out of the Kimi of Kokoni Kuruno and Kuro Shina Yoni. Little Kotomo Kantanda. Then why don't you leave? Mendo Daka. That's a valid reason. I'm an idiot for trying to find some sort of deep dark reasoning behind this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just land already. This guy really is hopeless. At least you're having fun in your dreams. And another scripted event? Yeah, looks like it. Or not. Along the way, I encountered the twins from the Hedda Mansion. I say encountered, but they were absorbed in a conversation when looking at me. They're exactly alike in outward appearance, save the different colors. Seeing them from a distance feels like this feels strange. Even though we're friends, we pass by without greeting each other. Like boys do, the two of them are chatting enthusiastically. Sometimes the gestures they use as they talk remind me of students of a little, a little younger than me. However, the subject of their chat was unexpected. These two are such a mood まだまだ休み取りないよ。労働条件って大事だよね。でも時間がぐるぐる変わるから、いまいちわからないよ。どう計算すればいいんだろう。切り上げるんだよ。すべて切り上げてしまえばいい。給与は切り上げ計算。これ
休み時間の切り上げはいいけど労働時間は切り下げがいいなそんなの適当でいいさでも給料は適当じゃいけない<笑>なるほどね労働条件は常に向上されるべきだからねそうとも僕らは断固として They must be incredibly considerate children to be worrying about their parents' working conditions so much. Alice, no. They are talking about their own working conditions. They were a little ways away from me, but I caught the gist of what they were talking about. However, I'm not nosy enough to butt in on a conversation about somebody else's parents' working conditions. It didn't leave much of an impression either, so I soon forget about it. Alright, I now triggered the first non-stay event for the bloody twins. I will record it because I don't think I will actually record the route. At least not to both stay and non-stay. So I will leave it in. Because I need like the first three non-stay non events for some of our side events. また来てくれたんだね。わわわわわ。僕嬉しいよ。僕も。わわわわわわわ。何？どうしたのお姉さん。There's something kind of cute about the way the twins have come springing towards me to welcome me. It's not that I don't feel happy that they're hugging me. However. Axis, Axis, Axis. Oh no. Kore? Kakoi yo ne. One san nara tada de kashte agete mo i yo. I didn't say anything about burying them. They're sharp. I'm telling you, they're sharp. So, yoku kire run da yo. Kire aji batsugun. Hamono ni o kane o kake na kya ne. I am telling you to never hug me with those top of the line sharp axes. They're dangerous. I'm telling you, they're dangerous. Those expensive top of the line sharp axes are getting closer and closer to me. Don't go hugging me without thinking about what you're doing. Onesan ni aeta kara da yo. Ureshiku te ware o wasurechau koto te aru nda ne. There's no harm in forgetting yourself, but I wish you wouldn't forget that you're carrying laded weapons. Each time they cling to me, I feel a cold sweat. They're definitely forgetting they're carrying axes, or they're just not worrying about it. Not worrying about it seems more likely. Ah, これ。お姉さん、こういうの気にする人だったんだ。Wouldn't anybody worry about something like that? They seem like they could cut me at any moment. They're top of the line sharp axes. All right. Their blades are glittering darkly. でもこうして抱きつくとお得なこともあるんだよね。さあさあお得。How is it adventurous? あるよ。あるある。How? だってね、抵抗できないでしょ。動いたら切れちゃうもんね。ケーキよくスパッタ。僕らもお姉さんを切りたくなんかないよ。僕もだよ。僕らもお姉さんを切りたくなんかないんだよ。切ったら痛いもんね。痛いじゃ済まないこともあるし。そんなことになったら悲しいよ。だからお姉さん、抵抗しないでね。動かないで。Alice, I don't think they are the best、um, companions to waste time with. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? They didn't have to threaten me to keep from running away, though. Foolish kids, I'm the one who came to see them. Alright, the next boss event. Ne, Oresa, Chokset Shinzoni Sawat Demitana. 
Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. <laughs> what should I do? I wondered if it might come to this, and now it finally happened. We've gone past horror and are, fi and are firmly in the grotesque ter territory now. I heard you. So let me get this straight. It's been horror up to now, and now you want to take things in a grotesque direction. You're already touching me, aren't you? I really don't like being called weird by him. Eee! Boris' fingers slipped nimbly through an opening in my clothes. This is what you meant by directly? No way, no way, no way. <laughs> Are you serious? Ross flashed me a Shashaya grin. It probably would. His hands quickly burrow further under my clothes. He's always able to do everything so skillfully. Boris? Uh, hang on, calm down. Bad catboy, bad, bad catboy. Boris undid some of my buttons, seeming amused. I'm almost impressed with how easily he was able to unfasten garments underneath my apron and dress. He can't even see what he's doing. Uh, this isn't the time to be impressed. Hey, stop it, okay? You can't touch me directly. Okay. What do you mean, why? Isn't it obvious? What are you thinking? And besides, he adds... すごく良い方法だと思うんだ。ドキドキ。たくさんするぜ。さて、問題。どういう方法だと思う? one No, I don't I don't think I need to make a joke about this. I I don't want to know. I don't want to say anything. I would rather not even know, so I hold my tongue. Huh? That doesn't make sense. You didn't ask for the answer. I. He's grinning. I feel a cold sweat when I see that terrible smile. Being with Boris is already one heart pounding experience after another for me. I don't want him to make my heart pound any harder than that. However, looking at Boris' lightly flushed face, I feel my heart pounding for a reason other than fear. I actually want to make a comment on that, but I don't think. And you, it came up in a let's play yet, so I won't. So I won't. I'm just wondering if. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not comment on that. It would be weird if it didn't. It would be unfair if I was the only one with my heart way racing. That's what I wanted to ask. That's my question. How rude can you be? If your heart isn't pounding after getting this far with me, I'm going to slug you.
I somehow got uh, another D and Dumb event, but I don't think I should have. Oh, well, let's see. Got it. Boris. Boris stopped by a Boris stopped by a while. I was talking to the twins. Are Boris? Oh, I think that's it's the first side event of Boris and twins. せっかくだけど、僕ら今お姉さんと遊んでるんだ。せっかく来てくれたのにごめんね。僕らお姉さんと遊ぶのに忙しいんだよ。遊ぶってなんだよ。こいつらと親しいの？ Are you close to these guys? こいつらは俺の友達なんだ。Really? Me too. 友達じゃないよ。え？ お姉さんは僕らの未来のお嫁さんなんだ。What are you saying? そうだよ。何言ってんのお前ら。打ち殺すぞ。But I mean, the head of mansion, or rather, the mafia and the amusement park are enemies, right? The mafia and the amusement park, saying it out loud, makes the combination even sillier. Ah, boss and son are together. But we don't have to do anything with us. Yeah. 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 How does it have nothing to do with you? Because I'm just a fool. 僕らも雇われ門番に過ぎないし、労働条件に適当友達になっちゃいけないなんてなかったよ。They <笑> don't seem like friends at all. Yeah, that was the side event. In the scripted event. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's the scripted event. It's a deja vu. There's another man lying there. Is it the same person? Or was he still here? That's scary. How much time has passed since then? He couldn't have always been lying there. Even if it is the same person, he's lying there for a different reason, since this much time has passed. What? This much time has passed. How much time has passed? Day and night changes as they please, like a dance. But if I had to ask how long it's been, it's been a fair amount? It should have been a fair amount, though I don't know how much. Anyhow, I should help him. I don't have time to casually ponder on it. Anyway, I'm going towards him to see. Hmm? I can't get near him again. Even when I try to approach, I can't get any closer. But why? It was the same last time, I suddenly recall. How could I have been okay with leaving a person lying there before? After that, I had calmly gone back to where I was staying and lived on. Always, like nothing happened. Always? My head's going blank. Well, well, what is going on here? Alright, let's continue Alice's suffering. <laughs> It seems Alice was saved. Me too. I'm always on edge wondering what's going to be done next to, done to me next. 
And yes, my heart races pretty fast. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it's probably different. My heart does race, but not in the all oh, a flutter butterflies in my stomach kind of way. You do feel that way? I'm suspicious whether we would even define the feelings the same way. Yeah, I wonder about that. He puts more of his weight on me. Maybe I feel a little that way. I hate to admit it, but I feel a little like that. I'm not lying when I say it's because I'm on edge, but there seem to be other reasons too. Maybe it's the so-called feeling of heart all a flutter. <laughs> I can't give him a straight answer, and yet this cat has even less credibility than I do. At least you're saved. Another nightmare event. I think. Still flying? <coughs> nope. <coughs> Looks like you're not feeling well again. Nightmare seems, as usual, unwell. He also looks pale. You're right, maybe I should say again and again. Although, even that isn't enough. Timidly speaking, Nightmare crouches in exhaustion. Fuzzy lights trinkling about a dark space. A dream demon that constantly vomits blood. I even already got used to this situation, meeting nightmares so frequent that it has come to this extent. I mean, at this point, even if you tell me to be surprised, this is something I'm used to seeing. Now, now, if you keep shouting, you'll choke. He looked unwell, but not to the extent of vomiting blood. Well, I'm not seeing any blood, I would like him to be quiet at least. Also, who are, you? who are you saying isn't kind, hmm? I'm always listening to you whine about not going to the hospital, aren't I? Although I want to drag him there, this is unfortunately a dream. There is no hospital. I can't do anything but gaze at this fail paced man. What are you a shot in? <sighs> You're saying that so proudly. He's kicking up a fuss, but he looks horrible. I can't say this place is bright, but even so he looks really pale. That's right, it's dark here after all. This kind of place. Isn't being secluded in here bad for you? If you keep shutting yourself up in here, it won't be good. Although it's normal to recover that way, in your case it feels like it's just a vicious circle. No, in the first place, it's questionable if his condition of vomiting blood will improve through his attitude of living. If he won't go to the hospital, I want to tell him to take his health into consideration a little bit. For example, if he does daily exercises, he would somewhat have basic strength, that way he will have stronger immunity. How about it? If you can go outside, let's go somewhere. 
He said he wasn't being shut in, so it should be possible to do go outside. Last time you said you could. If you can get out, then by all means, you can even go to the hospital. Then it's okay to avoid going to the hospital? Right? Even if it's for your health? Kimi. I got found out. If you get it, then cooperate with me. I'm tired of this place. It's the same view whenever I come. A dim darkness. It's not completely dark, but it's not bright in particular. It's depressing to think I, that I am dark even in my dreams. I'm not sure if going outside and waking up from a dream are the same thing. But anyways, as long as the scenery changes, anything is fine. That's right. Is that okay? I was curious about what he was going to say, but more than that I was surprised. This is nightmare I'm talking about. I thought he would surely drop it or something. Oh, oh, that's not what I meant. Given a wry, a wry smile, I feel like I did something bad. In actuality, even saying it's for the sake of his health is an excuse. It's hard to say it's a good deed to urge an ill person to go outside. Besides, you're far from being boring. I fear when he will vomit blood, so it's not tedious. I'm just a little tired of the same conversation. Although he's someone I meet often and trust, it's not like he's feigning an illness. I might be cruel after all. I'm sorry. Hmm? Ah, it's It's okay. Please don't forget I was thinking of protesting, but I'm at a loss for words. It's because the surroundings faintly light up. Eh? The ones them lights shine and get brighter. I can keep my eyes open. Uh, what? Hora. <laughs> I went blue. I opened my eyes thinking, there's no way, even though there hasn't been anything like a breeze inside my dream until now. Hmm? Eh? Uh, outside? Ah, soto da. Shitomatsu, konna tokoro de do da. Even if you ask me how it is. In an instant, I realized we were out outdoors. Not to mention, I have never seen this place until now. A spacious hill and a large lake. Under a blue sky, a flock of sheep that's grazing leisurely. A, de a development beyond my expectations. I don't even know what to say. Hmm? Eh? You'll fix it? If it's not to your liking, I'll fix it. Those words can only mean... Fix as in the scenery? Hmm? No way, I think. But nightmares... Nightmare easily nods. Nightmare Nightmare points at the sky and gently draws a curve. 
As the following the actions, a rainbow appeared in the sky. So many old rock photo on either. Naga, Kimio Taiku Sasazini Sunda. Saying that Nightman laughs in satisfaction, but yes, this means we haven't left the dream world. If Nightmare can change the surroundings, then it has to be that. This is a dream to the core. We aren't even outside. Sore was Hoda. Son no koto shitoro, skarero jamaica. Who's the one who said he will grant my request? Kota ita daro. Keshki o kaita. Yume no naka ni tatte. Soto wa tano deki. Mushiro. Skina yo ni shuse deki de bun. Koko no ho ga i. That's not good. No wonder it's noon, but I can't see the sun. I thought it was strange. Taiyo ga nakereba. Hizashi o abinakte sun. Shikashi. Hiru wa mabushi na. Yoru ni suru beki datta ka? You don't have to do that. Although it's inside a dream, the rainbow is beautiful. So pretty that it would be unbelievable in reality. And another scripted nightmare scene. Gantai? Yes, why do you wear an eye patch? Doshite. Doshite, watashi nanka ni kyomi o motsunda. Why do I ask? That's why I'm asking why. Shouldn't I be? Ikenaku wa nai ga. I don't Why is it that the people of this world often say such things, like that it's meaningless? I'm gloomy too, but I don't think it's good to be too down on yourself. I don't is it not because your eye is bad? Oh. He asked teasingly. I mean, why not? Then, excuse me? Didn't you say it was okay? A man doesn't go back on his word? Hmm? You're not injured, right? Sorry, they won't damn it. Why can't you open that eye? Nightmare has a handsome face. Without the eye patch, he's a standard good looking man. Although his clothes aren't normal, however, everyone in this world is like that. It may be the fashion. This world's singular fashion, uh, fashion sense, I don't know how to deal with it. Alright, here's the second month's day event of the Bloody Twins. Onei-san, Boku, Onei-san no koto suki da na. Boku mo, Boku mo, suki da na. Thanks, thanks very much, thanks a lot, and now let go. Dai suki, dai suki. Zutto kou shite itai yo. I want to be let go right the second though. Nan de sa, Onei-san. I find myself feeling guilty for making cute kids sad, even though I know what they're like on the inside. I don't hate you. I wouldn't come to see you if I didn't like you. Yeah, I 
I like you. I like you guys too, so quit shoving bladed weapons at me. Maybe those two don't have a lot of confidence in themselves. Doesn't like this make it look like you're threatening me. When I say that, the twins clutching hands weaken their grip. And they look up at me intently. What? You already said that. Ugh. They latch back onto me with even more force and I can't breathe. Uh, be careful. The extra strength pushed me backwards and I ended up falling on my backside. Ouch. Ski. I like you too, but this is scary and it hurts. Being knocked down with axes is the definition of a scary experience. One wrong move and this would have been a bloody mess. I catch glimpses of the axes glittering in the corner of my vision. Let me go. If you won't let me go, let the exes go at the very least. If they like me, I wish they wouldn't put my life in danger. And I think this should be the second side event of Boris Rock with the twins. Boris? Boris came by while I was talking to the twins again. Nani, Boris? Who's courting? We're just talking. The twins are masters at giving people the wrong idea. But their friendship with Boris is fragile enough as it is. They shouldn't provoke him so rec recklessly. The twins are my friends too. If they and Boris get into a fight, I wouldn't know whose side to be on. Stop joking around. So does all. I'm Marie Karamoto. Eat I may meet us, eh? Nandayo. Boris mo karande kuru ne. Mezurashi. One san na koto. Skinanda. Sorega. Monk anno. Wah. Mito me chanda. Kakoi. The twins hacked me, they grinned. Demo! Boku namo ski nanda yo ne! One san no koto! Naibaru te koto ni naru no kana! Hey! Ii ne! Naibaru ka! Boris held up his gun. Naibaru ga iru te wakaru to, sara ni moeru yo. But far from boiling, he sounded cold. Like he would take down anyone in his path. Stop it, Boris. You're fighting a gun with axes. The twins would be at a disadvantage. Do you really want to kill your friends? お姉さん、僕らを心配してくれるの嬉しいな。大丈夫なんだけどね。へえ。あんたはこいつら側につくんだ。つまり、あれなの浮気相手はこいつらじゃなく、俺の方だったってわけ。I... I don't think you have talked about that yet, right? <laughs> uh, Boris waved his tail back and forth. If he was a dog, it would mean he was happy. Everyone would think he was happy. But I have a pet cat. I know it's the opposite for cats. Cats move their tails when they're angry and aiming for the kill. And also when they're agitated. Friends! These two are my friends! We're just friends! そうなんだ。僕とお姉さんはお友達なんだよね。せっかく仲良しなんだ。ボリスのいないところでいつもベタベタしてるんだよ。ポ。ふふ、兄弟、それは内緒だよ。ああ、兄弟、口が滑っち
These kids. Tanoshiso de ine. Orewa tomo tanoshkunai kerona. I didn't think you were. He's mad. So mad. I think the twins are just joking. They're just teasing Boris, obviously. But Boris doesn't know it's a joke. Hontoni itsmo konna koto sarete no? Konna ni beta beta sarete. Yurushi chatte runda. Sore demo ai ni kuru nante. Zuibun na nakayoshi da yo na. Nakayoshi da yo? Itsmo wa motto nakayoshi. Motto? So, motto! ボリスがいるから遠慮してるけどいつもはもっと仲良く過ごしてるんだ Oh, they really want to fight, don't they? What, what are you saying? Boris, don't listen to them, it's a misunderstanding. Even when they say closer, it just means our conversations are more peaceful, that's all. <laughs> so he didn't seem to believe me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Does she? <laughs> Alright, the next Boris event. I've been getting so attached, that's problematic. Yeah, I guess the saying home is where you make it is true. Getting used to it is scary. Actually, I'm not talking about getting used to the world. Of course, after staying so long, I've gotten used to things here, but that's old news at this point. The thing I was complaining about getting used to is... Boris was purring. Is he being cuddly? I'm not the only one that's gotten used to things. Boris has gotten used to me too. I can tell his cat-like caution around people has worn off around me. It reminds me of Dina, Dina back home. I know cats prefer to keep their distance. If Boris is coming over to snuggle me on his own, that means he likes me quite a bit. Some cats never warm up to you, so he clearly enjoys my company. Wait, I'm totally treating him like a cat. The line between cat and human is blurry with him. Oh! Don't know how to feel about that one. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if she can take you properly seriously at this point. It came very nonchalantly from you right now. <laughs> well, come on. I don't know how to respond to being told you love my heartbeat. Is there something special about my heartbeat? For my heartbeat, right. I don't mind having him purr near me like this either. Still, I freeze up at that question. Um, uh huh? Because she can't take you seriously at this point. <laughs> She's still stuck up on uh, the whole cat thing. Uh, why should I have to? I want to say, but I keep it to myself. I do like you, Boris, but... It's true I really like him. Even after his play harassed me so much, I still spend time with him. Of course I don't hate him. If it's a question of loving or hating him, it's obviously closer to love. He prompts me to continue. The thing that comes after saying but is never good. If I finished it, 
seek in that sentence, I'll disappoint him. He must know that, because his voice sounds cold. I hate Romans. Not really a bad experience, it's just the pain, so I hate it. That's a lie. Sure about what? It's nothing but trouble. It's a pain, so I hate Romans. I am dishonest. Getting Boris's hopes up just to reject him because it's a pain makes me seem like a player. It's not as if I don't notice that. Boris has spent a lot of time teasing me and giving me a hard time, but it's not as if I haven't noticed his affection for me either. I've noticed, but things have been comfortable enough for me to act irresponsibly. Feels nice when somebody likes you. I didn't want to give him an answer, but I didn't push him away either. You really ought to give up on me. Good girl. That may have been the reputation I tried to maintain in my world, but it really doesn't suit me. What makes you think that? I'm definitely not a good girl. Honest, I'm even more stunned. I haven't been trying to keep up appearances at all. I wouldn't expect anybody to have that impression of me. You have the complete wrong idea about me. You must be a bad judge of people. I would not be considered a good girl by other people. I mean, he isn't wrong, Alice. You're just too much down in the dumps about yourself. Why do I get the feeling that's not a compliment? I want to ag argue that I'm not a good girl. It's probably not worth getting sulky over, but that part in particular bothers me. That isn't true, I'm half asked about things all the time. I can't stop myself from contradicting him. As expected, he points out the heart of the issue. It's not like I'm a rebellious teenager that doesn't want a good reputation. But uh, I just don't deserve it. It's inaccurate. Although there had definitely been a time I wished I could have become a good honest girl, but I've given up on that. It's impossible, I'm always going to be me, I told myself. And I don't think that's wrong, but no, I'm not wishing for it anymore. I still have to endure hearing that I'm good from other people. Even from somebody I haven't been pretending with. Boris leans his face in. He gives me a soft kiss, intentionally making a smooth ching sound. The kiss was short, but he didn't back off right away. He stayed a breath away, asking that question. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of love. More afraid than being forced to hold a gun. A gun doesn't feel realistic. Guns are something unrelated to my life. I'm more afraid of something that could be possible, something I know the pain of. I've become so pathetic. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I told you, nobody did anything. Yeah, right. You don't have to bother, I'm already over it. Are you sure? It wasn't any great tragedy, it was just your average breakup. I'm so pathetic for being traumatized over something like that. Oh girl, you are... Like my therapist would say, it doesn't matter how bad of a thing it actually was, it only matters how terrible it was for you. <laughs> we exchange short cute kisses. They're even cute and cuter for the sounds. Boris' attitude isn't cute at all, but he's comforting to me. I haven't been through so anything so bad that I should need to be comforted though. I'm pathetic. Yeah, I'm not scared of you now. What I'm afraid of is... Yeah, getting attached is really a problem. I'm really afraid of getting used to it. I'm too afraid. The fact that I'm more than just getting used to it scares me even more. I don't think he's gonna give up at this point though. And I think that's the point where we can end it today. So, until next time. Maybe Alice will get over her problems, who knows? Probably not very fast though. <laughs> so yeah, until then. Bye!